What's going on everybody? This is Darren from Affordable Shoe Review. Here to review some shoes for your friends and you. And today guys, we are going into one of the top 10 2023 sneaker collaborations in my opinion. One that you may not have even known released. I cannot wait to get into it with you, so let's go ahead and do it. If you are new here, please go like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate you very much for stopping by and checking out my video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to rock with my content. And now let's get into this absolutely gorgeous pair of sneakers. All right, guys, so this is the Up There and Asics collaboration on the Gel Light 3 in the Kookaburra colorway. Up There is an Australian boutique that sells sneakers, streetwear, all of those things. And they've actually done some collaborations with Asics in the past. Now, this pair is designed around the kookaburra, which is an Australian native bird that is very, very well known for its laugh. If I can find some footage, I'll go ahead and throw that in the video. But as you can see here, we have our kookaburra themed box. I think this shoe box or sneaker box is very, very clean with the all white makeup, but then the pop of like foil gold and blue for the kookaburras right there. And then the up there and A6 lettering right here in that foil blue color. Now this pair did retail for $150 and inside of the package, we actually got a pair of A6 and up there kookaburra socks to go with the sneakers. I thought that was super dope and a great touch from up there in ASICS. Up there also added a card that said thank you. So I appreciate that. I love the little touches of adding a pair of socks with the bird right there to match your sneakers and then the thank you card as well. I appreciated those little touches and now let's get into the actual shoes because they are fire. All right, guys, and here we have it, the Asics and Up There Gel Light 3 in the Kookaburra colorway. This sneaker is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to get into the details, all of the different little Easter eggs and things. So let's go ahead and do it. Very excited about this one. Now we're gonna start at the toe box and work our way back. But on the front of the toe box, you actually have your mud guard wrapping around in a light cream suede. And this is a very, very nice suede to the touch. And then moving up onto the toe box, you've actually got a cream mesh material. One thing that I thought was super dope about the toe box here is that they actually piped it in 3M. That is not common for ASIC sneakers. It's not common for many sneakers in general that the piping on the toe box is in 3M. You guys can probably see that reflecting in the ring light there. I think that is super, super dope. Now the Kookaburra is a primarily brown and tan bird. So we've got that tan that we just went over. Moving on back, there is a lot of brown use on this sneaker. And I think that's really dope. Starting with these speckled leather hits that are wrapping up around your mid panels and up over your eye stays. So I love that little speckled effect that you guys can see going on right there on the mid panel. Now that brown does continue around your heel cup as well as around your ankle collar and a little bit onto your eye stays as well. And this is done in a very, very hairy suede feels great to the touch. It is definitely a longer haired suede than what you have on the mud guard there. Now inside of that hairy suede on the back heel, on the outer half of the sneaker, you do have that gel light three branding for a six right there. Now the Kookaburra actually has bright blue kind of embedded into its wings. So it does have a bright pop of color um, and they signified that bright blue pop on the ASICS logo on the outer half of the sneaker. So you can see that bright blue right there to contrast against that cream and that brown. I think that's a really cool color, very close to UNC blue. I'm a big UNC fan, but close to UNC blue, not quite UNC blue. But still, I love that coloration to give a nice pop against the brown and the cream in the sneaker. 
On the inner half of the sneaker, on the ASIC stripes, you've actually got like a a, a weird checker block style pattern with the uh, brown and cream. And this is actually archival for ASICs. So ASICs did this a couple times in the 90s and up there decided to grab those design features from the 90s and add them onto this sneaker, which I thought was super dope. So this patterning on the ASICs logo is not common anymore, but it was common back in the 90s. And they decided to kind of reimagine that patterning on the interior right there with that like checkerboard style printing on the ASICs logo. Now you've also got that TPU plastic heel cup in brown to hold your heel in place. I think that's a nice touch. And then moving down to your all foam cream and white midsole with the one pop of blue on the heel. Once again, just standard for your ASICS Gel Light 3 if you've never had a Gel Light 3 before. But very comfortable Gel Light 3s, all the Gel Light series is a very comfortable uh, you know, line of sneakers. But in this case, cream, blue and your outsole is your standard gel light three outsole this one is in blue and in black and you all can see that there now your insoles i think are super dope it does have the kookaburra the asics and the up there branding i hope this focuses so you all can see that but it does have that kookaburra bird on the insole Now, if you've never had a pair of Gel Light 3s before, it may shock you a little bit, but there is no traditional tongue on a pair of Gel Light 3s. It is actually a split tongue design. So you guys can see that right there. So it opens up down the middle and it actually has up there branding stitched into one side of the tongue. And then the other side of the tongue has the ASICS branding. So I thought that was really cool that on the split tongue design, they added the branding of both of the collaboration companies on one side. Now this pair did come stock with flat cream laces with blue aglets to signify that pop of color in the kookaburra's wing. But there is a pair of extra laces right here and these are actually rope laces in light blue and brown. I think those would give a really, really cool pop to the sneaker. So if I were to ever rock the sneaker, which I probably will rock the sneaker at some point in the near future, definitely would throw these in there as a different style of lace. I think these are super dope. There are a couple other details on this sneaker, like the cream pull tab on the heel. You've also got a couple of different colors of netting on your mid panel, so brown on the interior, a little darker brown on the exterior, cream netting, and then brown netting as well. So you've got some other details and features and materials that are used on the sneaker. Um, you've also got 3M that is outlining the ASICS logos. I didn't mention that earlier when I was talking about the ASICS logo, but 3M does outline the ASICS logo as well. So I think that they just did a great, great job on this sneaker with material use. Now, as far as I know, up there still had a few sizes of this uh, collaboration with ASICS on the Gel Light 3 Kookaburra. So if you wanted a pair of these, which I would highly recommend grabbing, this is one of my top 10 favorite collaboration releases of the year. I would recommend going and grabbing this pair. It is fire and they are shipping globally. So I bought this pair from an Australian boutique and I got this pair within a week. I mean, that's pretty fantastic for overseas shipping. And man, I just could not be more happy to have this in hand. Now, the only issue here is I am a true size 13 and gel light threes typically fit true to size. And I had to get a size 12 and a half because I hit the raffle for a 13 and, uh, my my institution financial institution declined the charge because it was from overseas so i had to go back and grab a size 12 and a half because i did not hit on the 13s so i think these may actually end up being too tight for me um i hope not but probably i'll loosen up the laces hopefully be able to rock them um if not i'll have to buy a size 13 on resale which is not going to be as fun but that's okay. I am gonna throw these on feet for you after the video, so please stay tuned for that so you can see how these look. Anyway, I appreciate you all. Please stay safe, stay blessed, 
Let me know what you think of the ASICs and up their collaboration on the Gel Light 3 Kookaburra colorway. Thank y'all once again and peace out.